Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Chroma Squad. So last episode we beat up uh, the Boxing Boxer. Made a fair amount of money. We're going to lose some for this one, so let's let's just start recording. We got some basic uh, equipment, and so that's pretty good. Interesting, max audience is only 1,500. It actually is dropping off here, which is bad. Uh, in this episode, an innocent bystander will be kidnapped by evil monsters, but, all, uh, but should this victim be a boy or a girl? Also, laundry problems. Reach the guy before defeating all the enemies. Reach the guy in three turns. Hello. Barrel and roll. Oh! So I can actually do multiple episodes of uh, multiple episodes. I can pick. Well, you know what? Seeing as I don't really care. Are these just going to be episodes one, two, and three? I don't know. So let's let's see what we got. So we, we've got the uh, Wolken story, which is a uh, kidnapping victim. Let's see. Wanda Rangers has an argument with a stunt actor who does not want to use a proper costume. But they have to record the episode anyway. So we've got uh, Max Audience, same thing, Public Park, Director's Instructions, Defeat Boss Monster with a Finishing Move, Attack monster mo Boss Monster with a Lead three times. Okay. Our last one, Fatty Alien. Fat Alien terrorizes the city, and Cerebro sends Punch Everything to deal with this threat. But someone has a dentist appointment. Cliche Warehouse, perform a team attack with three squad members, and defeat all lame bread crumblers in four turns. I... hmm. This is hard. I kind of want to go with Barrel and Roll. Barrel and Roll seems interesting. Fat Alien could be kind of cool, but I think Barrel and Roll we're going to go with, mainly because we're fighting a dude. It's fighting in a... Uh, no, no, people are... People are voting for Fat Alien, so we're doing Fat Alien. Okay. Maybe I can do both. I hope I get to do both. We'll see how it goes. Either way, I love it when you use the teleport effect for no reason at all. It's just too much fun, isn't it? Beatings. Right, I forgot. Beatings will and continue. Aha! I almost forgot. Continue. You have a dentist appointment today, right? Yeah. In a few moments, the blood... Ra in a few moments, Blood Ranger. Then I'll have to leave. I'm sorry. No problem. We'll make this as quick as possible. So get ready. It's time for the minions to get on stage. They're chicken people this time. Grar. And now we got, oh, I see, the, the the chickens are actually the the more uh, dangerous ones. Suddenly, a very human-like alien-esque figure joins the scene. Bada-bing. No, you're not supposed to join us right now. We haven't found your hiding place yet. Aw, I'm sorry, folks. I'll pay more attention next time. Boink. <laughs> a few more minions to the scene should make up for it. More minions! Okay, prepare, myself, uh, prepare yourselves. Dog people, those are not dog people. These are definitely squirrels. These are definitely birds. We need to get rid of these monsters. They're all around us. Don't worry, Will. This should be easy. Go, punch everything. Go! Alright, so perform a team attack with three squad members. Defeat all lame bread cl crumblers in four turns. So you guys lame... These are the lame bread crumblers. Uh, bread... Crumblers. Crumblers. Interesting. So this makes it a little bit harder. Because I need to... I need to defeat... The birds in four turn. How much health do they have? 90. So it's slightly more. Um, and I've only given weapons to certain people, which makes it a little bit harder. What's the question? Can we get around? You know what? I'm ah shoot, missed. Okay, that's bad. So you're you're the Black Ranger. You know what? We're just gonna beat this guy up. Yeah, because he can take him out, no problem. Oh, because we haven't gotten into its punching time yet, because we haven't made it to the made it to that point. Oh, because we actually have to like super worry about this, because nobody can use any of their ex extra moves. Oh, that's bad. Still, I can uh, focus fire the lame, at least that frontal lame bread crumbler on the next turn, and I should actually get my weapons as well. Oh, but we'll knock him back, which could be a problem too. That eh, shouldn't be terrible. And we don't have to worry about hit points on this mission. Except for they have guns, so they might actually not come closer. This could be... this could be bad. I have no idea. I had a lot of dudes, though. Is it punching time yet? No. Okay, get more audience... Uh, get more audience to punching time and get access to skills and weapons. So this is actually a bit of a complication. So is anybody here remaining injured? Okay, let's... let's punch this guy out. Uh, let's see. Can I make it to anything else? No. Well, 
we've got a limited number of turns. Let's move here. You're going to have to teamwork, even though you're the most effective one. Oh, shoot. I was going to do jumps and stuff. Well, I guess you're getting flung. Beat him to death. There we go. Let's start fighting this guy. That'll give us our audience interaction and punching time. Oh, we didn't get the chance to punching time. Nope. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. At the very least, we got two people with guns and we can start hucking people across the stage. So that, that shouldn't be so bad. Close call. Ow. Oh, we got uh, counters. I forget about counter, actually, as a, a thing. I'm not entirely sure how that functions in. Functions in. So, let's start with the punching time. I'll get everybody back up to full, and then we can actually, you know, hit people harder. Now, do their their equipment did change actually because I gave these guys uh, proper proper equipment. So he's got a sword and a stunning pose. You know what? Let's start by stunning these guys, and then it's teamwork up. Because ah shoot. That's not enough. Well, let's just uh, let's just murder this guy because he he does crazy town damage. Okay, so red cannot get tossed. Okay. Well, I guess let's just move over here. Perform a team attack with three squad members. Okay, so let's switch him to teamwork. We've already defeated one of them. The other one's pretty injured. Stay in teamwork. And that should take him out. Okay. Perfect. Teamwork attack. That that gets us uh one one. Uh one teamwork attack. Now does it do we only have to do that once? Okay, so we already got that one, and we've got one target left. So let's let's move you all the way over here. Teamwork again. Uh doesn't look like he's close enough. That tech mm, I think we should be fine because the other guy's barely barely even alive can we can we not really well, that's that could be annoying we should have used my sword there okay perfect uh, so let's teamwork over and then gun him in the face bada bing he dodged it damn it all right fine let's do it again come on it's one shot one shot, one kill. There we go. Okay, so we've taken out the lame bread, bread clumber, crumblers, and they're totally... They're totally birds. Okay. So next up, we'll have Blue run in and just wallop people to death? Oh. I like it how they don't actually switch into their com uh, their their suits for for this. So, so for example, you know, we've got the Teal Ranger, but it's actually still just the Beaver Man. Confusing, but, eh, could be worse. Let's, let's just start actually wailing on people. That did not work. I should probably start using my teamwork attacks a little bit more. Can I, oh, I see. So I can, I can only use, interesting, so you, you can't just select your skill and move in. Okay, that's fine by me. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to... Probably should have actually started with that the last time I did this. Ah, uh, let's see. So let's teamwork up. We're out of turn. Oh! Healing adjacent allies while posing. Okay, so she doesn't actually have anything to do. She heals up. That's actually really cool. Did not know that. We're actually kind of injured. Oh well, we got that one. So we should continue the story in another episode. For now, I'm off to the dentist. Take care, everyone. To be continued. Wait a second. We may use Continue's absence to build a new story piece. Yeah, like Continue was kidnapped by Fat Alien. This will be gold. Well, <laughs> um, actually, proceeding with the story. I knew I was nowhere close to the audience limit on this one, so... Uh, we should get to a different position. The audience will think we're at a different part of the episode. Good idea, Will. Everyone move, and let's get to new positions. Fat alien kidnapped, continue. Then punch everything, reach its warehouse, so they can get their friend back. And it suddenly appears. 
Bada bing, bada boom. Fat alien. I like, I like how they actually have the second animation for the fat, like, bouncing up and down. It's great. Ah, uh, let's see. So you shall never see continue again. Oh, they've got turtles. I love the design of the minions, though. Actually, I kind of like the design of the minions better than I like the design of the characters. But then again, I'm gonna, I gotta switch out uh, gear. So I guess that would do it. I've still got the shitty costumes on. So continue is in good hands. Aha. Yeah. Then someone else joins the set using teleport effect. The teleport effect. But uh, what? Who are you? My name is Thomas Dahl. I am Galax Silver, the sixth ranger of the Galaxy Rangers. We are responsible for maintaining galaxy-wide peace. And this intergalactic monster is a threat to us all. I thought you were just a barging into our studio. But I'll definitely take that. Your line was just too great. Welcome to our show, Thomas. All right, everyone, keep rolling. Probably Kickstarter backs backer. Galax Silver, it's nice to see you here. Fat alien kidnapped, continue. Say your last words, obese creature. Limitless potential, Galax Silver. My Galax Saber is ready to strike you down. All right, so defeat all minions before defeating the boss monster. Hit the boss every turn. Okay, so that concerns me slightly, but only slightly. So this guy looks like he's going to be a little bit more of a tough coffee cookie. So let's, let's roll in and start wailing on him. I'm going to use the ranged attacks to try and uh, hit the boss every turn, because that's going to be a little bit harder. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to move you here. I don't know if everybody's going to be able to reach. So let's see. How much health does he have? He's got a fair amount. Let's just sword this guy down. I got two people with ranged attacks, so I'd, I'd rather... Oh, shoot. Which was... Oh, he was the one with the gun. No! No, shoot the one with the gun that had the multi-shot. Left. Oh, that... Makes it a little bit more complicated. Oh well, onwards and upwards. Please hit him. Okay, there we go. Man, that actually did a lot of damage too. So, so it's, uh, he's got a sword, right? Onwards. I think I get bonuses for that. I, I do get bonuses for the toss and moves. Nice. Galax Saber. You know what I should play after this? I should play Wonderful One on One. I'd be bad at it, but I think it would be great. At the same time, it's got it's got the same feel. Yeah, you know what? That that will be the next series I do after this one. I guess it'll have to be solo, but you know what? Who cares? Okay, so we've gotta we've gotta hit the boss every turn. So this guy doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Will's gonna move in. Let's see. This is easy enough. Probably should have actually used the sword. Well, that seems like a gross use of the sword. At the same time, maybe overkill is actually like a, a good thing comparatively. Okay, it says safe for this turn. That's good to know. Okay, so we've only got one more. Let's go for a teamwork. I don't know if you're going to make it anyway. Eh, he could have made it. But it looks cooler when you do this. There we go. Wow, Galax Silver actually does, like, crazy damage, too. Let's see. Uh, what game was that? Wonderful 101. It's got, like, the same feeling. So I, I think that would actually be, like, a really nice uh, transference. Well, just beat the tar out of these guys. Uh, there's like nothing he can do here. Can I get tossed? No, but what I can do... Yoink! Does that count as an attack? No, it does not. Ah, shoot. Okay, now we actually ha we have to focus on hitting him. There we go. And Galax Silver can take, take the last guy out. Professional. I, yeah. So I, I, I must be getting... Lo I am whoa, hey, I've actually maxed score-wise. Nice. Alright, so let's teamwork this guy up. Let's see. How much health does he have? Let's see if I can get him trapped. Here's the concern. Might not be able to hit him. Oh, perfect. So I can move over here, because if I can trap him in... Oh, hey, teamwork attack. Sort of. And I heal Doken herself. Yeah! Because I want to do a finishing move. I'm gonna, I might as well do it. I, I don't know if I'm going to get extra points for it. So we're safe for this turn. Good. Let's surround him so he can't go anywhere. He's probably going to hit me, but... Oh, shoot! He can escape! Right! Because people can go diagonally. Well, that is actually kind of... 
not really going to say frustrating, but still. Move you closer. Apparently he has the highest movement of anyone. Okay. Form off it is escape. You know what, let's just beat him to death. There we go. It's not like we we're going to get any extra points. We've already maximized out the uh, audience thing. Ugh, you have bested me. Bada bing. This threat was too easy to handle. Punch everything. Thanks for your help, Galax Silver. No need to thank me. You should thank the energized crystals we all channel Galaxia Force from. But I must leave now. My ship, the Star, War Star Road Surfer, awaits me. I bid you good luck on your path, punch everything. We need more friends like this one. Yeah, I can't wait for continue to watch this episode. Happy face. Well, that was actually a really short episode, so we're, we're just going to keep going. I'm not going to end this episode uh, early. And we get some gouache paint. So, we, we're running a little bit of a deficit, but... We managed to make a little bit of cash. Nice. Okay, so... Oh, there were tweets that I did not bother to read there. Whoopsie. Okay, so what crafting can I do? I can get bucket helmets. I do not have enough plastic or silver tape. Can I build either of them? I can. Okay, so let's... I don't have enough Play-Doh. And I'm probably not going to get a whole lot, because I don't... Can I recycle... Oh, I can recycle the impro improvised suits. Yeah. Because I don't need these. That probably wasn't very worth it. Oh, well. Let's see. So we still we still need uh, duct tape. What can I do? Can I make a sword? Nope. Yeah, I need loads of Play-Doh, and I'm not getting a whole lot of it. All right, let's go back. Let's take a look at the shop. Anything I can buy. I could buy padded suits. That might be not be a bad idea for the skill regen and stuff like that. Oh, well. Uh, that's just health, which we don't need. Could also get... No, I, I already have enough weapons. So in, in this case, I don't actually need to really worry about much. Let's take a look at what we could do. So we could do extra HP. Eh. Crafting rate. Bonus. It's expensive, though. That's also expensive. All right, so you know what? Let's just save our money for the time being. Let's, let's go back. Record the next episode. So, oh, okay, so we only have options for two. So let's do uh, Barrel and Roll next, uh, see, seeing as that's the next available one. So the Wander Rangers has an argument with a stunt actor who does not... Okay, so we already read this one out loud. Uh, I guess I might as well read it out loud again anyway. So, a man on. Welcome. Anyway, so, uh, Wander Rangers has an argument with a stunt anger. Uh, anger, stunt anger. Stunt actor who does not want to use a proper costume, but they have to record the episode anyway. Max audience, 1500, location of public park. Director's instructions, part 101. Defeat the boss monster with a finishing move and attack the boss monster with, with a lead three times. That's easy enough. So what I'm probably going to do is just toss the lead at him and then done. Now was that finish him, or that was finish him with a finishing move. Uh, why are you wearing a barrel instead of your costume, mister? I am high value stunt actor. I am a high value stunt actor, and your silly costumes are beneath me. I like it how the swords actually flop. Wait, what? We have a contract for this episode? Wait, what? No, wait, what? We have a contract for this episode. So get back to that dressing room and wear whatever costume is in there. We'll even let you use the teleport effect as long as you're properly dressed. We'll move to the set and start recording while you change. Aye, aye. We all know how where this is going. Okay. Oh, hey, legit. How's it going? So, all right. Let's move now. I always feel like I need to make sound effects as they like walk off because there's no there's no walking. You know what? That's it. There's no walking sound in this game. There's no like shuffly foot noises. That's weird. I don't I don't know why. Anyway, patience is a virtue, isn't it? A few moments later. Still not in proper costume. We can't record like that, my friend. This is my costume. I am Barrel Man, and I'm gonna roll all over you. I get the feeling this is actually eventually gonna stop being a TV show, and it's actually going to be like a serious thing where like bad things are happening. Okay, that's enough. You're going to roll back from where you came from. They see you rolling, boss. They hatin'.
Director's instruction. Defeat the boss monster with the finishing move and attack the boss monster with a lead three times. Alright, so we actually can start by punching time. So that's not a terrible idea. Why don't we do that? Because we're not going to need the healing and we don't have to worry about it. Let's start by transfer, uh, transforming. That gets me five. Whoop. Well, whatever. Uh, let's roll up. Not really into using my moves, particularly tactically right now. Let's just start start by wiping them out. Unfortunately, Black Ranger does not move particularly fast. I'm realizing this now. That's uh, it's a little bit on the pra problematic side. Let's get tossed a little bit closer. Is this... Can I hit everybody? You know what? Let's save that for the next one. Let's, let's pew, him, pew pew him down. It looks like using your skills a lot. Hello, you can move far. Using your skills a lot nets you quite a lot of points. Let's take out a Nutcracker. Because we're going to want to use Continues... Uh, Hey, new item, Cotton. We're going to want to use c Continues, like, uh, shoot everybody attack. Seeing as everybody's going to be close. I'm going to want to... Oh, shoot. That doesn't work. Barrel roll! Okay, that might make this kind of hard. I was expecting something a little bit more... I don't know. Effective. So Face Puncher's actually getting hammered. That's not a good... That's not a good thing. Let's go teamwork. Because you're going to need... You're going to need to do something. And we want to get close to Barrel Man. Alright, is this... That is not enough range. Right here should be pretty good. Yep, I guess we're just multi-shotting a pair of squirrels. That's not what I was expecting, but eh, whatever. And you're going to want to heal Doken yourself, because I have uh, wildly... Uh, Mr. Purpy would... Oh! Okay, good. For a second, I th thought she was a able to actually take two actions, but no. Always taking, like, a final action. And... Jeez, he's gonna be hard to hit. How am I gonna kill him with a finishing move? I have no idea. Well, let's teamwork him up. Ah, uh, so we don't want to work on that. Let's just corner the bird, see if he gets to run away. not close enough. Well, that's bad. Okay. Well, we might as well take out the lame nutcracker. Hmm. So she can't heal Doken for a while. This is... This is actually kind of complicated. Like, this is actually more puzzle than I was expecting, because he keeps doing his barrel roll. And, oh, he might be close enough. It's very hard to tell. I don't, do not know how I'm going to get him with a finishing move, though. Can I, I can get him with stunning pose. Perfect. I don't think that's going to stop anybody, though. That's teamwork up. Ah, uh, let's see. And you just, you just can't do anything. Let's see if I can just surround him or something. Teamwork attack. Yeah, I truly do not know how I'm going to be able to get him with a finishing attack. Which is bad. Hey, some Play-Doh. Nice. I need that. Oh, Barrel Spike. Oh, okay. So by surrounding him repeatedly, we might actually be okay here. So... I think I'm just going to keep people away for a second. Uh, let's just teamwork up. That's probably not going to do anything. Move a little bit closer. Teamwork up. Okay, because I need him to attack the guy three times. Now, I don't exactly know how this is going to work. So I'm just kind of banking on it working okay. We don't have any heals. And apparently she can't get tossed. Weird. I'm hoping maybe she's out of position, so I'm just gonna run off of him. Alright, please don't do a barrel roll, damn it! Oh, good. Good, 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 good. So he is very close to me, which is exactly what we want. Let's just surround him. Because if he can't if he can't actually go anywhere... Oh, wait, nobody can pass through me. Well, that makes it a little bit harder. How much health does he have? A fair amount. Okay, so I don't, I don't want to... Ah, shoot. Oh, perfect. I can lasso him over. I was like, how am I going to be able to get this guy 
in position to fight him with, uh, with the Red Ranger. Oh, he is so close to death. I would finish him so hard if I could. And she can't heal. Teamwork! This is bad. Okay, perfect. He is in position. I thought I thought so. By surrounding him, we 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 lured him in. So teamwork and ties, whatever. Alright, we got this. There's no stopping me now. Let's see. No other skills I can do? Well, that doesn't matter. Because <laughs> Bada bing! There he goes. That was actually harder than I thought it was going to be. But, we get the points. Now, the question is, did we maximize our audience potential or not? We were close, but I wasn't sure. Also, hi Mr. Kipper, how's it going? Wow, such an explosion. Very particles. Oh, wow, such explosion. Very particles. Much amazing. And loading. Nice. Yeah, though, he, the fact that he kept rolling around. Yep, we maximized audience at the very last second. So... Last episode was $160, and we managed to make 214 That's not bad. So, where can I buy toy, uh, a toy punch-everything gun? Super fan, Sentai. I wish ne ne I wish ne I had Nex Flicker to watch this new hero series everyone is talking about. The Beardo. Awesome. Hashtag want more. At Carl Anderson. So many good shows to watch. Now I must add punch-everything to the pile. Hashtag first world problems. Cool. Okay. So, uh, I think we've only got one left. Oh, we got mail. What is mail? Having fun, kids? Uh, from Ferdinand G. Nando at gmail. Nando G at gmail. Com. Date. Uh, what is it? Oh, so that's like right now, actually. That's interesting. So it actually dates it for like this proper point in time. That's kind of interesting. What a forgetful uncle you have. Continue. We haven't talked since the studio's opening. How are things at my warehouse? I hope you all have the space you need. I told Joe to go go fix that leak in the bathroom next Friday. Oh, and make sure to feed that cute little cat that lives around the place. She has been there since I brought in the Cerebro device last summer. Probably snuck into the box or something like that. Cats are always nice to have around. Of the little fellow and inspires you to create new things. Marketing. Oh. Okay, marketing. Uh, greetings representatives of Wander Rangers. My name is Ronaldo Sampi... Sampaio. I'm the manager at Mad Folks Marketing Agency, LLC. Oh, there's the cat! Oh, it looks adorable. It also has a saddle for some reason. We loved your first episodes and we're willing to work for you. Making your show reach much more... and uh, reach more and more people around the world. This is how our agency works. You pay us a fixed weekly cost and we'll work at converting the audience of your episodes into fans and income. We guarantee you a 15% increase in your audience on every episode. Do we have a deal? It's free for the first week. Sure, why not? And an old friend. Uh, Dr. Maya. How are you doing, my old friends? We all know that I'm the only reason why your new show is any good. I know that our last moments weren't so great, and we we're in a bad situation because of the ideas you have stolen from me. Let's get straight to the deal. You have a few options here. I see you in court. You pay me tributes for my ideas, or I'll be your new director. I hope you understand this situation. Everything will be alright. Uh, well, we'll see you in court. This is probably a bad move. I don't know how it's gonna work, but you know what? That dude was a douchebag. The marketing. Holy crap. Uh, change agency. What other ones do we have? We got... But, oh, shoot. These are, these are options. We have MAD, which is... Then we've started. We've already hired these people. $50 per episode. 40 30 so this is commercial break, 10 income per conversion rate, 100 episodes starting audience, and plus 10% audience per episode, versus a local sponsor, money per episode, income conversion rate, and okay. Oh, there were replies after I sent my replies. That's good to know. Audience per episode. Spam on social network. My friend Dave. Oh, that's hilarious. So you've got more than 100 followers on microblog. So the cheapest option is just like a dude. All right, so we're gonna stick with this one, fan power. Oh, we can also go with these. Can can I activate these? Oh, fan power. Interesting. So I can only use one of these. Let's do um. Let's do ten percent audience per episode. I think. Or this one. I 
Maybe? Maybe this? No. Let's go with this one. And this one. Okay, I have no idea if fan power is going to work out well, but whatever. So, there were, there were replies? No, these are just sent. Oh. Oh, no, you're right. There, there are ones. So, marketing. Glad to do business with you. I'm sure you'll love our services and will enjoy your new audience levels. Keep on recording. So, and the reply from Dr. Maya. I would advise you differently, but worst advice is vi uh, the worst advice is advice. Good luck to all of you. Lawyers are the devil's ministry. What a dick. Okay, so, uh, equipment-wise, we're generally kind of okay here. Weapon-wise... These are kind of okay. The problem is, like, we're running... We don't have a whole lot of materials. Can I... I still need one more. So, you know what? Let's let's buy another one of these. I need some Play-Doh. Give me some Play-Doh. More Play-Doh. That, that's not enough Play-Doh. Whatever. Craft. Can I make... Can I make this? Is it even worth it? I don't know. But we're doing it anyway. Let's build another... Let's build a plastic. Perfect. Craft. Bucket helmet. Yes. Alright, who am I going to give it to? Uh... Don't know. Who's the most flimsy? So, these two seem to be the flimsiest. They're the ones with the guns. Anybody else particularly flimsy? He's pretty flimsy, so let, let's equip it on Will. Because I think I'm... I think Will has, uh... Has other stuff. Let's take a look. Can I... Where, where are actors? There we go. Oh, right. Skills. Oh, right. Because we need to get up to Season 3. So, Will currently has a sword. Okay, thought so. Let's go back to shop. No. We're not, we're, not, we're not here for the shop. We're going to crafting, recycle. Let's sell the cardboard helmet. Oh, that's what they're wearing. Cardboard helmet. That's kind of sad, actually. And let's go to... Let's go to studio. Let's go to the workbench. I'm probably going to want this anyway. Crafting rate, plus 25%. Probably could have used that earlier, but whatever. Okay, so th those are our fans, actors. Uh, well, let's record the next episode. We've only got the last one.